Hi Stampers, it's Kelly Enns here from Stamping with Kelly with a quick card tutorial for you. We're going to be actually using some products from the new mini catalog. This is starting January 4th, as well as Celebration starting the same time. There's so many great products in there, including this suite, which I just love. This is called Be Mine Suite, and it features this awesome bundle. This one here you can see kind of looks like a word bubble, but it coordinates perfectly with the body and the stripes and the stinger that can go along with it um, then you just add on whatever face you choose here oh my gosh aren't they just the cutest look at them oh. and then these um, hearts are perfect on their own as punched out heart images or you can actually use them with this stamp that goes for the wings so I love how clever this design is I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of this also in the suite We've got some fabulous embellishments and this beautiful ribbon, um, also in those like same kind of fun colors. This is a really fun treat packaging option for you. These are our pillow boxes and they're really big. You can see they've already got the score lines on them and the adhesive in the two sections where you do need adhesive. You just pop those together and then the rest of this just comes together so beautifully. It's quite big, you can actually fit probably about five lint chocolates in there. Um, then the final product in this suite is this fabulous designer series paper. So you can see these adorable little bees. We've got honey pots and also flowers too. And then the back sides of these, um, these are the ones that I haven't used on the projects um, that I'm going to show you. So I'll show you those other ones here in a minute. But the back side of these looks so cute as well. Lots of really great options for you in really cute colors. Great for Valentine's Day or for any occasion. The cards that we're going to be making today look just like this. And I've got three different color options for you. It's um, got some Versamark on here, some black ink and a saying of your choice. And then it comes together with this really fun fold like this. So the supplies that I'm using are of course my stamp and seal dimensionals and bone folder as well as the memento ink along with the saying i'm using from be my valentine you'll always be the one for me and then versamark ink and i've actually put together a few of the images so these little hearts here the bigger heart as well as this flower onto one stamp and i'm going to use that with versamark to stamp a little bit of a background so let's get started this project comes together so quickly and easily, but I am so excited about how adorable it is. I think you're going to love making it, but you'll also love giving it to somebody who you love. So the score lines are already on there for this fancy fold. You're just going to be burnishing them with your um, bone folder there. Now let's take our Versamark and our background stamp, and I'm just going to stamp down this border edge here. Versamark is our most versatile ink. It actually mimics the color of every single color of cardstock that's ever been made. So you can use it with your heat embossing. That's another wonderful way of doing it. But I love this technique for adding a little bit more excitement and interest onto my project. Whoops. Right into the ink pad, right? <laughs> you can see it's just like magic it starts off invisible and then as it sinks into the paper it really starts to show you've got that great little border around there we can put our versamark to the side now and we can put together our adorable designer series paper and our black cardstock so we've got three different designer series papers here that i'm featuring for this project all of them have these adorable little bees on them and some of them have just hearts some of them have these um, branches and some of them have flowers when you're putting this part onto your project here i like to flip it over to make sure that i get adhesive just on the side that i want so i don't glue my, glue my card shut for our saying we've got this great little hexagon tag that's been punched out for you and now I'm going to stamp my little saying on there. You'll always be the one for me. On the back side of that, we'll put some stamp and seal. 
and we'll take our ribbon and zigzag that back and forth. You could tie a bow and put it behind, but I just think that this is one of the most easy techniques for ribbon. It comes together so beautifully. And a little snip snip, and you've got it looking beautiful. Let's put on our dimensionals. Stick that onto your project. I'm going with the lower left corner there. And now I should have one more thing. This cute little flower to stick on there. Ta-da! Cute project, right? Comes together so quickly and easily. And I love that fun fold. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to stamp with you again very soon.